Hey guys, this is Sally's My Goat, and I want to start a little model horse show hints and tips uh, video series. Because um, I know I have a new friend on YouTube, and I kind of forgot your name. I'm sorry about those. Like, Free Rain 826 or something like that. I'm sorry about. I don't remember the last three numbers on your username. Um, and this is mainly to help out new uh, new showers for live shows who have not for people who have not really been to a live show before um so pretty much so far I have three episodes coming up I don't know what's gonna be in episode four yet so episode one which is this episode is gonna be how to set your model set sorry <laughs> how to set your horse up for a halter class <coughs> excuse me what do judges look for how to set up your horse's tags um, so pretty much how you would set up your horse in the halter class, this is the table, this is my nice little clipboard, um, what you can have is some breed references, I'm just going to grab my first reference, I have so many, um, I'm going to grab the horse for, but it's four, um, so you'll have your model on its best side, uh, it's either... If the head's straight or kind of cur curved like that, you should have the horse on its main side or its best side. And this side is actually his best side because I like this side a little bit better than this side. Plus he's got this weird black mark on his hip, which I don't know where that came from. Um, actually, got some red marks up there too. Uh, either way, this is his better side, so... He'd go, your horse would go like this, and then of course you'd have your tag set up. This is actually a tag for um, his our next live show up in March. Then if he has braid reference or collectability reference, they would go just in front of your models, like so, to where pretty much, pretty much he looked like this. And it'd be the same for if it was a classic. The same setup and so on and so forth for like a stable mate. It would just pretty much all be the same. He doesn't have a tag as his tag. Oh my god. Wait. What? No, okay. Never mind. Sorry about that. Um, I thought I forgot his re print him out of braid reference, but I printed out his reference, so it's all good. Okay. That's how you would set up your horse in a halter class. Um, what judges look for, I'm actually going to, which horse has really nice shading. I'll use these couple of models. Hang on. I'm going to get some of my other kind of nicer models. Now there's a horse with dapples. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. okay the horses that are going to be used for this is my, is these three. My Water, Smarty Jones, and my Go Mango Classic. Pretty much, this also shows horses with their head kind of turned without mane, head straight without mane, and head turned. Pretty much what judges really look for is shading. Here, let's show you. Oh wow, you can tell he's extremely dusty. He's got little marks on him. Yeah, these guys have not really been dealt with at all for a very long time. Um, so they're really dusty. Um, what I just look for are, is really nice shading. Like this side, he's got really nice shading. But on this side, he's got also nice shading. But I show him on this side because he does have nicer shading on this side than he does on this side. You want to choose the side with a... Uh, better shading plus his stand also has his name on the side. Um, and you judges like to look for nice shading on the model if the paint blends in and if there's more than one of the same exact horse in that class, the judge he or she will main, mainly she uh, will mainly look for if they have markings this Christmas Christmas. Crispness in his markings, either legs, face, or let's use her, 
or paint markings because her markings are crisp. They're looking, especially if it's a paint or an Appaloosa, they are definitely looking for crisp markings. So, crisp markings are good. And then horses with, let's say, dapples, like how he does. They're looking for nice, nicely done dapples, not chicken wire or um, fish scale dapples. They want normal, natural, real looking dapples. Like on, and if they want to see if the dapples blend in with the shading. Oh, wow. It's actually not this dark, but it looks so much darker than the camera. But, um, you, they main, because with his face marking, if they have mapping on their face marking, it's actually really nice. Oh, I mean, spots and everything. Um, but horses with dapples, they mainly look for, uh, realism in the dapples. And not kind of blotchy together dapples like how this one is and like that one kind of is. Now that one is. Uh, they're all kind of smooshed together. That's kind of not what you want. But they do happen sometimes especially on extensive dapples like on how water is. Oh, water. Um, and then Roan wise he places really high for me. Major show that we actually went to last year, which was Lone Star Live, except we entered the youth division. He got first because Judge really liked his. Um, this was in the major, huge quarter horse stallions class, and he actually got second. Um, they're looking for the realism in the um, the little corn marks or whatever it's called with the darker uh, color, either red or blue, like on how he is. He's kind of a blue bayish roan type color <laughs> um again christmas cr oh my god crispness sorry about that in the markings uh good shading if the color looks right for um what he actually is supposed to be and confirmation overall confirmation if you have a breed which we are actually going to go over that in episode three on um if the breed you chose for that model fits the uh, confirmation of the mold of the mold itself um and pretty much this is all, and now we're going to go on how to set up tags for your models if you're going into open show you're most likely going to need an MCAT number I like how mine is um but you would normally put your MCAT number, your number, your horse's number, like on how it, his is for the show. His is 029. And you put the breed, the gender, and on the back you could put either your name, your initials, or your full name. I like to put my horse's name because the judges aren't really flipping onto the back. I just have this to know which horse is, is kind of mine or which tag goes to which horse. And then, of course they'll have your number and everything. And if you're using a Nort a note card. A note card. You can have the same exact format, except you can have everything on one side, and then your name or initials on the bottom left or right corner. Bottom right corner. Especially since I have like the really big ones. Not I have the normal size ones too. I use this one for like collectability or performance or something. Um, or normal ones. Um, pretty much that's how you would do that. If you guys want something sp specific just leave a comment below and I will get on to making it I'll probably put it into the next episode that I'll be making after that so yeah look out for episode number two bye